Before 2007, Dunman Secondary School only had the boys' team. From 2007, we started the girls' team. And we took about four years to garner our first ever national champion in 2010, the B Division girls' team. We take in players who are not purely volleyball based, but we do see potential in them. And when we see potential in these players, we actually took a lot of time to start to train the students to be able to compete in the sport in two years. With our coach consistency, we are able to achieve and sustain this past few years' result. And I believe that is one of the main reasons or strongest point why we are able to achieve the national champion this year. Our aim for Dunman Secondary School Volleyball team this year was actually to be in the national top four. Dunman Secondary School is very fortunate to achieve the national champion this year. The school believes that experience counts. That's why three out of the four teachers in charge of this sport are volleyball players themselves. The team have talks and frank debriefs during every training, after the training sessions. This is to cultivate a good, strong team spirit. Every time we do set a goal and we want the players to be able to achieve it on the next training. There were actually some success stories in terms of uh, volleyball players in Dunman Secondary School. The first one will be uh, my current captain, Faith Chan. She is now in the combined school selection for the second year running. From my 2010 batch, the first ever national champion batch, Miss Chan Tia En. She was one of the representatives for the YOG Games, Youth Olympic Games back in 2011. So although Dunman Secondary's girls team is only six years old, they are fast building a formidable reputation. They have recorded both team and individual titles and are etching their names in their school sporting history.